So, Champions League time for Girodins de Bordeaux. And we all remember last season, knockout phase, round one. What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. It is Bordeaux. They take on Inter next on EA TV. And even if we managed to win the home game, we couldn't get through because the first game was away and we lost 4 to nothing against Inter. So we lost on aggregate against Inter. We are back now, trying to get a better result this year and I think we have the squad for that. And in the group stage we have PS3 from Holland, we have Rangers from Scotland, and we have Chelsea from England. Uh, I think it's a good group, uh, good games, but we're definitely are one of the favorites to go through to the next round, the knockout phase. But uh, yeah, let's see what did actually happen. This is the night both sets of supporters have been waiting for. Not long now until kickoff on match day one in the Champions League. Who will get off to a positive start with all three points? It is Chelsea. They face Girondin Bordeaux. And we're live on EA TV. Good evening to you and a warm welcome to the part of West London where the Kings Road and Fulham Road meet. Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It is Chelsea against Girondin de Bordeaux. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. for Chelsea well in this shape if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball it's a very attacking lineup but if they drop too deep they will then leave the center forward isolated and it could be difficult for them is the goalkeeper Adrian Rabio starts with N'Goro Conte in the centre of the park and the lead striker today is Anthony Martial <laughs> a 
Nicely timed tackle. Cherki. Martial. Opportunity to take the lead. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. They've regained possession. And they've given him too much space. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Brian Tristante has eyes for goal. Oh, yes! You cannot strike them any better than that. Brilliant goal. The clock is not on Chelsea's side, but it's not over for them. Crossed accurately towards the far post. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today. You know, when the draw for the group stage was made, I think most fans had their eye on this match. Two of the very best in Europe, and it has pride of place on the fixture list. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It's Girondin de Bordeaux, and they take on PSV. Thanks, Derek. Well, it was a really good start for our hosts, wasn't it? But they need to back it up with another good display today. The fans certainly expect them to. Oh, he looks threatening. Will he find the net? A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Oh, 
Well, let's take another look, and I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And that pass could be troublesome. And he's through. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. And behind it's gone for a corner. Oh, it's gone in! A significant deflection, leaving the keeper flummoxed. Just 15 minutes remaining. And he's in. There it is. Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And now the delivery. Well, they weren't able to capitalise. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, another excellent result, and it's the perfect start. Of course, they're not through yet, but another good performance, and they'll surely make the knockout stages. Well, they put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. You know, when the draw for the group stage was made, I think most fans had their eye on this match. Two of the very best in Europe, and it has pride of place on the fixture list. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And hello to you from Clyde side. We find ourselves on the south side of this great city, Glasgow. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It's Rangers, and they face Bordeaux. Well, thanks, Derek. It's a real pleasure to be here. What a great atmosphere we've got inside the stadium. I'm really looking forward to this one. It should be a good contest, that's for sure. Anthony Martial. Oh, this is looking promising. Real chance. There it is. And just the ideal start. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he?
And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. How can they create something? There it is! And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Now sending it in. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal! An awful lot of green space to run into. Must be! Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. A chance to whip it in. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. And he's been dismissed. This will be a real test of their defensive resilience. Well, he had to go, didn't he? They'll need to reshape their defence quickly here. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And of course, he scored two really good goals. Welcome to a tension-laden occasion. The group stage is winding down, and if things go to plan, they might well be celebrating a place in the knockout stages. Stay with us, you won't miss a minute of action right here on EA TV. And welcome on a rainy night. The heavens opened earlier and it just hasn't relented. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we've got UEFA Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It's Bordeaux and they face Rangers. Well, they've been very good so far, Derek. And these fans have certainly seen some exciting football. Let's hope they get the job done today. Intelligent threaded pass here. And that pass could be troublesome. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, 
Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And he has options available. And he's in. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Ganago. Passing it around. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can he finish? Oh, yes. It's gone in. And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Good-looking sequence. Antoine. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Oh, there it is! A back-and-forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Well, here it is again. The through ball is wonderfully executed, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Conte now. Clement. He's in with a chance. And a goal! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Another game from Liga for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Girondin de Bordeaux versus Montpellier. Oh, he's really opened them up here. He just needs to keep a cool head. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Matt Moore. Could be dangerous. The delivery towards the back post. Here's the replay, it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stage, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group, Stuart. Yeah, you're right, 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 Derek. It's job hard at the moment. They'll still want to take that top spot, though. It could make all the difference going into the next round. The ticket is already stamped for the knockout phase, but can they claim top spot and perhaps a favourable draw? It's coming up on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say.
I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson and we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to. It's Girondin de Bordeaux taking on Chelsea. Well, they've already qualified, Derek, but they would love to clinch that top spot today in front of their own fans and I think they deserve it. They've played so well in this group. And a short corner here. That's well blocked. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Then he came back for the booking. And now the delivery. Oh, a goal! And an own goal at that. Well, not part of the script, was it? Well, here it is again, and he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. Radio. Crossing opportunity. Are they going to forge ahead? And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. An incisive pass. He must finish. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Still a chance. Well, here's the replay. Yes, it's a decent shot, but the goalkeeper has to do a lot better there. He's carried it out into a dangerous area, and suddenly the ball's in the back of his net. It's poor goalkeeping, you have to say. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Chance here! There goes the final whistle. And it doesn't get much better than this for them, Stuart, in the group stage. Top spot is theirs. Well, over the course of this group, they've been the best team. They've played some attractive football, they've worked hard to win the ball back, and they deserve to be top dogs. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu for you is the final group stage game in the Champions League. 
It's PSV, and they face Bordeaux. Well, I can't wait for this one, Derek. We've got a crackling atmosphere, two good teams, and a perfect pitch. Let's hope we get a top-class game. It should be. Well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the possession. But unless they start passing it with more penetration... They'll... Oh, Stewart's a chance! And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Gutierrez and fed forwards and Port can he get them level they just couldn't stay in front and now this match is all square Well, this is your home of football, and delighted to say we have more live action coming up from Liga. It's Girondin de Bordeaux, and they'll be taking on FC Oh, Mets. what a chance this is, Derek. And it's in! They're back in front! Stunning scenes here! Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Who can they pick out? Can the owner of the red sports car, that's a red sports car, part outside main reception, please return As you can see, the ball. visitors have had much less of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win oh, the Stuart, ball... Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, as the replay shows, it all started with that perfectly weighted ball over the top of the back line. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Oh, magnificent free kick. But the keeper producing a save to match it. Today. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.
think it was a big surprise that uh, we and Chelsea are the two teams going to the knockout phase. Uh, we were the two best teams, so uh, I really am proud of the boys from the group stage. We really showed that we were the best team in the group, but that is all history now because the knockout stage is starting. And guess who we are going to play the first game? It's not Inter. It is 